with the family at home at the time. Police suspect the dog nappers are attempting to obtain ransoms or reward money from the owners. Almost a year after the Queen of the North sank off Gill Island, questions remain tonight about the recovery of diesel fuel aboard the vessel. The Canadian Coast Guard is assessing the situation, trying to determine how much, if any, fuel remains inside the ship's tanks. In the meantime, BC Ferries and people living in the area will have to wait at least a few more weeks to find out. 400 metres below the ocean surface at Wright Sound, the sunken Queen of the North lies embedded in the mud. The Canadian Coast Guard is trying to figure out how to remove thousands of litres of diesel fuel from the vessel. One plan being discussed is to pierce the fuel tanks and drain them with hoses. This is not the big black gooey stuff. This is not the stuff that you see the birds and seabirds coated in. This is more insidious. Dr. Gerald Graham is a Canadian Coast Guard certified on-scene commander for oil spill response. He visited Wright Sound in September and says diesel fuel is very difficult to recover once it is leaked out. In fact, it's uh, virtually impossible to do so. Most of it, at least half of it, would, would have evaporated when it hits the surface, and the rest would follow the currents and would eventually disperse and dissolve. Gerald Graham says the Queen of the North was also carrying unknown quantities of lubricants and petroleum. And he says that isn't the only concern for people living in the area. Forty kilometers from Hartley Bay, an Army transport ship, the Brigadier General M.G. Zelensky, is resting at the bottom of Grenville Channel. The ship sank in 1946, and Gerald Graham says it has crude oil and explosives on board. And he says there are concerns a passing cruise ship could trigger an explosion. Planning is underway by the Canadian government to deal with the wreck. And over the weekend, some good news. The replacement vessel for the Queen of the North was unveiled in Vancouver. This is really like going from a Volkswagen to a Cadillac in shipping terms, and this is really uh, first rate. The 117-meter Northern Adventure can carry 101 vehicles and more than 600 passengers. I can tell you that everyone inside the company was looking throughout the world to find the right vessel and do it, and lo and behold, we did. From Fort Hardy to Prince Rupert, this vessel will travel along a route that has some of the most historic and striking coast Canada has to offer. The Northern Adventure, formerly the MV Sonia, is due to enter service in the coming weeks. BC Ferry says its insurance will pay for cleanup costs associated with the Queen of the North. The Canadian Coast Guard is looking at options tonight and reviewing them with experts, but it is still unclear how much fuel remains on board the sunken ship. And be sure to tune into A Channel News at 5 on Thursday for the one year anniversary of the sinking of the Queen of the North with a memorial from Gill Island. That's coming up this Thursday on A Channel News at 5.